So, hello guys, welcome back. Um, this may or may not turn into an episode. It's more of an update. So, I can't, I can't live with myself anymore. I've been, I've been, I've told you guys a fib. I've been fibbing to you guys. Here's the truth. Okay, well, first things first, I'm probably not going to make it to the nether for at least a couple of episodes because I have big things planned. Now, uh... I'm, I'm fairly certain none of you have ever actually played Minecraft on a, like a legitimate server with me, but my projects are always massive and overly complicated. But anyway, this entire place right here is basically a giant distraction. <laughs> um, it's turned into a farm. Oh yeah, I started making this um, stone bricks, which uh, looks much nicer. I, this is the only wall I've done. But this place has turned into one giant farm. There's animals absolutely everywhere, and that's exactly what I want, because I need to farm as much materials as I can, specifically wool, because I have an even bigger project <laughs> than this one. And, um, it's 1,000 blocks away, exactly 1,000 blocks away from the edge of this wall. Uh, I'm just trying to show you guys how many animals there are over here. Um, now I still want to do something with this place, but, oh, uh, I left the dirt here. I meant this is supposed to not be there. Um, I do want to use this place. This place is going to be, um, very important, uh, very crucial to my, um, my end planned. My planned? My end plan. Excuse me. Um, still kind of sick. Ah, slimes! Anyway, so I've got a system going right now that, um, in this area where I can, uh, mine cobble. And by the time I've gotten enough, these trees have grown to when, you know, I cut them down. And then I smelt the cobble with the tr uh, charcoal from the trees. And by the time that's all done, my wheat has grown. And then I gather the wheat. And uh, I have just enough wheat to make myself a stack of bread and still have a little left over for the animals. So then I breed the animals. And then uh, I kill some of the parents and gather their resources. And then, uh, by the time I have their resources, I come back here, start gathering cobble some more, and repeat the process. Now, uh, I think I missed a part there somewhere. Um, but yeah, in the, while, uh, in the downtime, like if I'm a little bit ahead of the game, whatever, I start fixing up this place. Um, now, <laughs> so, my project, it's, um, it's actually a project that I've done before. Um, I just r fixed it up a little bit and remodeled and oh oh god slime and uh, Oh my god. I never want to see another slime ball again. I've probably got at least a double chest full of these fucking slime balls Ugh. Forgot what I was saying. Oh right 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 um, so It's a project that I've done before um, it wasn't particularly built by me uh, I honestly can't remember who built it. I've just had the, uh, I've, I have a couple pictures and a save file of it from eons ago, but, uh, I changed it around and, uh, I deleted a bunch of different parts of it because there's no way that I could have handled the entire thing. And I changed it all around all the materials so that it was possible to make in here. Now, one of the things that I'm going to need is about... 6 trillion metric fuck tons of leaves <laughs> and uh, as you know the only way to legitimately get leaves is with shears now iron is a problem because it's not an unlimited resource until 1.2 when uh, one of two things happens either iron golems which I'm super fucking excited about holy fuck yeah um, iron golems are just fucking my absolute favorite right now or um, option two, which is a lot less efficient, but, um, what am I stuck on? What the hell? Okay. Uh, or option two, the zombies rare drops. They occasionally drop a single iron ingot or like an iron sword or helmet or shit like that, which is also possible. I could do that too. Um, so I have a couple options. Either I can continue just like gathering, uh, wool by punching uh, the sheep to death uh, and getting a single block of wool and uh, I just have to wait for 1.2 to um, get the iron golems to get the infinite iron to get these leaves 
or I can update to one of the snapshots. I guess I could do that too. Although, I don't particularly want to just because I do play on, uh, on a couple servers that uh, aren't going to update to the snapshots until 1.2 is available. And I don't really want to have to keep updating and then uh, fresh install and update and fresh install. Uh, so I'm at a bit of a predicament. Oh, by the way, this is my ready box. Uh, these two blocks right here uh, are in the middle. And if you go out exactly 1,000 blocks from, uh, from right here, well, that's actually three blocks ahead of us. Holy fucking legs. Oh my god, what is that shit? Okay, we'll just get rid of that for now. Gross. Um, exactly 1,000 blocks out is where my project started. This is what I have so far. I made some chests and some basic stuff. Stuff for cobble generator. Stuff for food. Stuff for some resources. A couple of pre-made stuff. And some building materials. Um, sharpness, efficiency, and breaking, and breaking. Oh, yeah. Just, just some basic stuff. I'll add some more to it at some point. And oh, it's getting nighttime. Let's go take a nap. Um, so what I want to have done at some point now, uh, I feel like I'm really getting ahead of myself and I just think I saw that tree grow. Um, I'm getting really ahead of myself because I have really big plans for this area like this. Uh, oh, oh, Fap City. <laughs> um, that is a, hold on, let me just check real quick. Okay. So, um, J man, uh, three, two, six, seven, <laughs> Uh, kind of self-named this place uh, Fap City so I was like that's sick that's what this place is named now so the, the official name of this place is now Fap City um, I still have huge plans for this and this is just such a basic idea of what's going to happen uh, eventually I want to have like a nice big roof over this place with a large uh, spire type building coming out of the middle uh, like through the roof with uh, giant bridges going northeast, south, and west, and uh, smaller towers on each of the 45 degree uh, areas, like right there. Not not the flat part, but the 45 area right there. So that's just a the, kind of like a basic idea of what I want to have. And of course, pretty much this entire hat town will have to be removed and um, reconfigured so that the test certificates can still live here, but I have room to grow. Um, I did go into single player uh, creative mode in my test map um, and I just fooled around with a couple ideas that uh, some of them I kind of liked, some of them I really liked, some of them are eh, kind of in the air. I don't know, obviously um, the nice ones are a lot harder to do, um, require a lot more resources and a lot more time. Um, so yeah, uh, yeah, I'm at a real predicament right now. And I'm sorry I'm not really doing anything. This is more of a talky episode. Um, I know some people don't like that, but deal with it! Um, oh my god, look at all these sheeps. It's unfortunate that I have to kill all of you sheeps at some point. But your, your future generations will live on and carry out your name. Uh, okay, so anyway, I guess I can probably... Um, oh my god, I gotta get away from those slimes real quick before I continue talking. <laughs> oh, I know it doesn't, um, it doesn't appear as super loud, like, on YouTube because of fraps and stuff, but in-game, Jesus Christ, just the loudest thing on the fucking planet. Anyway, as I was saying, uh, so one of the reasons I haven't been, uh, uploading videos, uh, as often as I normally do is for a couple different reasons. One, I'm really sick. Um, still really sick. My throat feels like I have like a Lego brick stuck in it. But um, and another reason is because I've been trying to, you know, secretively work on my project <laughs> so that I could surprise you guys. But you know that didn't turn out so well. So um, and one of the reasons I didn't turn out so well is because the trip over there is pretty easy. It's a pretty easy trip. But um, once you get over there. I just get swamped by slimes and um, I have not made a backup of this world and last time I was out there they got me down to one and a half hearts before I freaked out um, and just was running all willy nilly and my armor got all, all damaged and shit. I guess it's still okay. Um, but yeah that was scary so I just ran back and I haven't gotten <laughs> back since then. 
Uh, um, so, I just, uh, th another idea has just come to me. So, I also really want to set up a server, uh, you know, a flatland survival server, just like this, because uh, this series is really what made, what gave me my, um, my subscriber base that I have right now, which I'm so thankful for. You guys are awesome. Um, I would really like to set up a Flatland Survival Server. There are some bugs I, I've talked about before. One, my major, like, my major problem with that is that um, when you put it on a SMP, uh, it gives you the whole void fog and like the sky is black and stuff like that, which really isn't fun for me, <laughs> and that just kind of ruins my that ruffles my jimmies. It ruffles my jimmies. Um. I know there's mo oh, dang it, didn't mean to do that. I know there's mods to fix that, such as like Optifine and stuff like that. Um, but those are like personal uh, client mods, uh, not server plugins. I'm sure there might actually be a server plugin that gets rid of that, which I could look into. I do run a bucket server. Um, right now it's just uh, it's, it's always on, but uh, there's nothing going on in it except for lots and lots of testing. But I might put up the uh, server IP and you guys can come help test with me if uh, you're interested in that. Other than that, though, I, I'm kind of running out of things to say. I know I have a lot to say, but um, I'm, I'm drawing blanks here and I don't want to keep you guys waiting. So, uh, I'll give you guys some things to think about. Um, make sure, you, get back to me, you guys. Leave comments and suggestions and talk to me. Or, you know, you can personal message me too. You can just PM me. That's fine. Um, I always read every single comment. I always um, reply to as many as I can that need replying to. And same thing with uh, PMs as well. I reply to those. Um, I completely just forgot what I was about to say. I got distracted by something. That was that was uh, weird. It's probably the sickness kicking in again. Um, if I do end up getting the server going and everything is smooth and fine and and you know we get rid of the void fog and everything is pretty and fun I'm gonna need moderators because I obviously cannot be on every single second of my life and um, stuff like that so you know you could also <coughs> shoot me a PM um, cough 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 mod request cough cough um, or admin or whatever you prefer to be um, if you'd be interested in that. Jesus fucking slime balls! Ugh. <sighs> okay, so I'm gonna end this here. Thanks for listening to me uh, ramble on, you guys. It, I do appreciate it. I'm sorry we didn't do anything this uh, episode. This is more of an update or whatever. But I promise you, I promise you, I will get back to you. And I will we'll, we'll have a nice, good episode uh, full of full of nether stuff and, and building and... And plans, and I also um I I uh, in single player I have a really nice chicken farm, um to oh hey I saw you go there uh really nice chicken farm to implement somewhere I'm not really sure where, but then I'll have infinite chickens, <laughs> because because infinite chickens, <laughs> but yeah, all right thanks again you guys I'm sorry I always do that I say goodbye and then I keep talking, so I'll really leave you alone, um. Thanks, thanks, thanks. You guys are awesome. Uh, get at me in the com- Did I really just say get at me in the com- Jesus fucking Christ. Fuck! Fucking fuck! Goodbye!